Not bad. Although I'm still not sure if I'm comfortable buying the stock. I think I'll wait for it to go down a little bit more. Maybe then I'll be comfortable, yeah. <laughs> I should have bought it back when it was down 5%. I don't know what I was waiting for. If you've been in a similar situation before, you're not alone. After my unsuccessful attempt to convince my roommate to invest in my cryptocurrency, which I will attach the link to the video here so you can check it out later, I decided to look into new ventures, particularly stock investing. I spent several weeks doing research for my next plan, and I want to share with you what I discovered. Okay, so I found this very interesting article on Forbes and it's titled Any Monkey Can Beat the Market and there's a specific paragraph here that caught my attention and it talks about this book called A Random Walk Down Wall Street and how that there's a chapter that specifically mentions a blindfolded monkey throwing darts at the newspaper's financial pages could select a portfolio that would do just as well as one carefully selected by experts. So. I want to test this out, but I don't have a monkey. But I am a soccer engineer, so why not replace the monkey with a machine learning algorithm? I will take the historical data of different stocks and feed it into my AI bot to determine which stock I should invest in by predicting the prices of these stocks for the next few months. Before I get into the technical details, I would like to add a disclaimer that this is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. This video was created for informational, educational, and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and analysis. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about which stocks I will be feeding into my machine learning algorithm. Normally, I would stick to my S&P 500 stocks, but since I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous today, I want to experiment with ARK Invest stocks. ARK Invest CEO Catherine Wood is bullish on Tesla stock, and in 2020, she predicted that Tesla stock would hit $4,000, which it indeed did if we take into account the pre-split price. Along with Tesla, ARK Invest's other top holdings include CRISPR, Spotify, Square, Shopify, Roku, Zillow, Teladoc Health, Baidu, and Invite. So these are the 10 stocks I will be feeding to my machine learning algorithm to help me pick which one to invest in. Now we get to the fun part. First, in order to do anything related to machine learning, we need to get data to train our model. For this, I'm going to go on Yahoo Finance and download the stock data. So right now I'm going to go and download the stock data for Tesla for the past five years up until today. Next, I'm going to use Python for my programming language and Keras for my machine learning framework to create and train my model with the data I just downloaded. There are several algorithms that could be used to train a model for stocks. The one I'm going to be using today is the Long Short-Term Memory Neural Network or LSTM. LSTMs are good for making predictions based on time series. They are made up of gates which can be used to determine which sequences are important to keep or discard. Okay, now let's get into the implementation. First, I'm going to load the data into my Python script and take the closing price column specifically to use it for training. Next, I'm going to compute the price change percentage for each day and these are the numbers the model will be specifically using for training. For the past five years, I will take every single possible 500 day interval and predict the next 100 days. So essentially, I want my model to be able to tell me what it thinks the price of Tesla stock will be in the next 100 days or just a little over three months. Next, I'm going to use 80% of the price change data for training the model and 20% for testing. I can let the model compute its mean square error and adjust its weights to improve predictions as it trains. I'm also going to scale the stock price between 0 and 1 to normalize it for consistency. To define the network, I add two LSTM layers with 50 neurons each and a final dense layer for the output. Now I'm going to take a break and let my model train. A few moments later. Okay, now that our model is done training, I'm going to plug in Tesla stock data for the past 500 days to see what it thinks the stock price will be in the next 100 days. So looking at the graph, the blue represents the first 500 days 
and the red represents what the algorithm thinks the stock price will be for the next 100 days. So looks like the algorithm thinks the price of Tesla will recover and head back up in the next 100 days, specifically from $742 to $820. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is let the same algorithm run overnight on the nine other stocks that I mentioned earlier, and then we will compare the results in the morning. If a company hasn't been around for the past five years, I will be using as much data as I can, since the more data it takes, the better. Okay, now that it's the next day, let's take a look and see what our machine learning algorithm has predicted for the other nine stocks. Now, I'm filming this when there's already a bit of a dip in the market, so let's see. So the first stock that I'm going to be going over is CRISPR, the gene editing company. And looks like it's predicting a dip in the middle. However, it thinks the stock will go up, but it'll be still lower than the first predicted day. So it's predicting that the price of CRISPR will go from $125 to $122. Next, we have Spotify, the music service company. Now, I had to use 300 days for this one because the company IPO'd in less than five years, so I figured 300 days would be good enough to train our model. Now, what we're seeing here is a bit of a continuous dip, but it's predicting it'll go higher than its all-time high price. So, specifically from $334 to $401. All right, next we have Square, the mobile payment company. So looking at the graph, we can see that it's predicting the stock to go down in the next 100 days, specifically from $237 to $211. Next is Shopify, the e-commerce company. Interesting. It's predicting a big spike for the next 100 days. Pretty bullish. Specifically from $1,301 to $1,947. Roku is next up. Roku manufactures digital media players for video streaming. The algorithm is predicting a big spike for this stock too, roughly from $413 to $625. Okay, next up is Zillow, the online real estate marketplace company. So here the algorithm is predicting that this one will go up to approximately from $172 to $220. Now let's take a look at Teladoc Health now, the virtual healthcare company. Yeah, it's predicting a price increase for this one too. Roughly from $254 to $367. Next up we have Baidu, which specializes in internet services and artificial intelligence. So looking at the graph, the algorithm is predicting for this stock to go up too, particularly from $304 to $329. And the last stock is Invitae, the genetic information company. So looking at the graph, it looks pretty flat. It's estimating the price of the stock will go from $42 to $43 in the next 100 days. So we're not seeing any big jump for the next 100 days. So if we take into account the price difference it's predicting over the next 100 days for each stock, the biggest jump I'm seeing for the top three stocks are Shopify, which roughly has a $646 increase, Roku, which the algorithm is predicting to have a $213 increase, and Teladoc Health, which it's predicting to have roughly a $113 increase. So these are the top three stocks that I will be investing, and I'm planning to make a part two video after 100 days to see how accurate the machine learning algorithm was with its predictions. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you have any suggestions on what type of videos I should make, please leave them in the comment section below. And in general, let me know what you think about these stocks. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.